Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another fine tarot reading. We do, right? Do people use that word fine? Or is that too old fashioned, Capricorn? All right. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. And before we begin, Capricorn, if you want your own psychic reading, they're really lots of fun. I do them on the phone. And then at the end of that, we do uh, I do the tarot spread on them or on you. Whoever you are inquiring about, right? And they are accurate. I'm a, I am a Silva grad. Mm -hmm. I have lots of fun readings on my website. It's Mystic Gem. It is mysticgem.com with a K. It's below. Yeah, if you want a free five-minute psychic reading with, uh, with Mystic Sense, you can get one of those. Those are for five minutes, and they're free. Click on their link, and they are separate. They are Mystic Sense, right? And if you want a coaching session for me, uh, you can get one. Yeah. It's just for the year or, you know, something you're thinking about. Uh, I feel certified to do that. Right. And, uh, just waiting on my Jack Canfield certification. I, feel I am, I have to do a couple essays, but I've already passed the test. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this, right? Yeah. Into this reading Capricorn. And we talk about life coach. We see, uh, the guides, spiritual life coaching. Yeah. The guides is reversed here. <clears throat> and you know, these look like waves kind of, right? But the guides is reversed. So somebody didn't follow their guides. No, their intuition, they, their intuition kept saying, tapping them on their shoulder, Capricorn saying, Hey, uh, right. And, uh, but they wouldn't listen. So now, uh, the truth is in the reverse too. And with the truth in the reverse <clears throat> and them not listening to their guides, uh, you know, maybe they got a big, a bunch of big lies here. Uh, but the truth is about you or, uh, about what is real. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I feel like somebody just wasn't following their intuition. This could also mean, or listening to themselves or their guides, right? But this can also mean that somebody has done this and they don't want something here because of the truth. It's not the truth. They don't want it. Like, I don't, this isn't for me anymore. This is not my truth. Uh, I don't feel aligned with this anymore. That could be happening. And we have magic first. Yeah. So it looks like somebody needs a magic spell here on somebody and, uh, they could have, right. And, um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, this magic here, these guides here in the reverse with the truth reversed, I feel like somebody finally did actually looking at this l did, this is another scenario, but they're all the same. Really this person, you or your person, Capricorn, uh, with the guides in the reverse and the truth, you did listen and you figured this isn't for me. I'm not aligned with this. I want this magic over here. Somebody could have been really kind of doing their own magic. And, you know, once you really believe in yourself, that is magic. It starts to, you know, opportunities start to show up for you, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, money can come to you and relationships, but you have to believe in yourself because you're sending out a little signal, a little frequency, right? You are, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, we all know that we walk into a party and, you know, we can kind of read people, right? We can, and we go, Oh, so-and-so, or, you know, or this person's really nice, things like that. Yeah. So you can tell right away. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Capricorn for you guys. Mm -hmm. Let's get some fairy cards here because uh, we're nice over here. We're fairies, right? We're witches too, though, Capricorn. We are. See, we got. <laughs> and we have the devotion card. Yeah, see, somebody wants something that is magic and they are finally listening to their intuition here. That's what this is. Yeah. It sure is. And let's see what else we have. Devotion, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. And we have the fire element. The fire element is about passion <clears throat> and uh, being dynamic, taking action and, you know, being in your power and movement and things like that. That's the fire element. And there's a lot of passion here because we have devotion. Yeah, we do. Let's get one more card. And we have the summer dragon. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you had a nice summer with somebody, Capricorn. And you guys, so let's go skinny dipping, right? Yeah, let's go skinny dipping. You don't have to be skinny to go skinny dipping, Capricorn. I do want you to know that, all right? Yeah, okay, just, we're just playing over here, right? Let's see, let's look at the summer dragon and see what they have to say about the summer dragon. Yeah, and we have Sunny, okay. 
That makes a lot of sense, right? Oh, the joys of summer. Do as this dragon does. He's just a carefree little guy who moves from flower to flower, absorbing the sweetness of life. Embrace the light and the warmth and the beauty of summer all around you. Summer represents the full bloom of life. Okay, you're entering a time when life has much to offer you. That's what this is. And uh, somebody, Capricorn, is offering you passion. This is a great reading. Offering you... <clears throat> an olive branch with uh, a lot of passion on it. It's real hot. It is. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't feel like this is going to wait till summer at all. I don't think so. Uh, this talks about a fun adventure. Somebody's coming Capricorn and yeah, they want magic with you. They do. Let's get one more, uh, one more card and we have the brat. Okay. So, you know, <clears throat> here's this one fairy and the smaller one has a sign here. This is the brat. Like, like I am the brat. And the brat is about somebody who has been breaking rules. Yeah, basically spoiled. Okay. I release the old selfish me and step into my divine pattern of being. So that's what somebody's doing here. Somebody was a selfish SOB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were selfish before. And <clears throat> they were not, it's possible here with the guides and the truth card, they were not following any form of spirituality, which is, you know, it's just like the golden rule, right? Do unto others as uh, you would like done unto you, or, you know, they're all the same, really. It's just, you know, uh, show love, be love in the world. Yeah. Uh, so therefore, uh, you may receive the same back law of attraction, all these things. But somebody here was uh, probably immature or selfish and, uh, they're they're listening to their intuition now. Yeah, they're stepping into their higher self. Yeah, instead of their low, low Joe vibe. Not not everybody who's named Joe is a low is a low viber. No, in fact, I know a couple of Joes are nice guys, right? Let's see what we got. <laughs> Let's see what we have, Capricorn. You can say my name's Joe. Leave me alone, power and light. Let's see what we got here for you guys, Capricorn. <clears throat> Justice is showing up. Queen of Cups. And we have, let's see what else we got for Capricorn. The Two of Cups is here. <clears throat> two of Swords. Okay, we, there's choices being made with these two, to, two twos. These two toys, these two twos. And, uh, and somebody is trusting their intuition big time now with the high priestess showing up as the all-knowing. Yeah, she has the key over here. Yeah, she does. Let's see what else we have. The nine of pentacles. The moon. The star. You're getting your justice in this reading, Capricorn. Somebody here is coming to you in some fair way, and they're admitting that they were selfish. Yeah, they are. I'm pretty sure with this brat card. And if they're not admitting it, they, they need to. But I feel like somebody's coming to, to confess love, devotion, and the fire element. Yeah, and the summer adventure or the summer dragon, right? And magic. Now, uh, but you know, I wanted to tell you guys, if anybody with a lot of Capricorn in their chart this is your reading. All right. You don't have to be a Capricorn sun or a Capricorn rising. Your planetary ruler is huge because we add up all the elements, all the different placements. And we see, uh, we see what your planetary ruler is. Yeah, we do. Okay. Eight of swords <coughs> and temperance. So, you know, there's healing in this reading and there is some form of self-control and moderation because the brat comes forward, Capricorn, and, uh, you know, it's a little, it's just a little kind of boy here. And, you know, he's supposed to be a fairy, but he has horns coming out of his head here. And, you know, the other fairy's going, oh my God, right? Uh, she just has her kind of pointy ears, but she doesn't have any horns. He's a bad, he's a bad fairy. And, uh, this person's coming to admit this and to be ever humble. Temperance can be humility. Yes. And that's what they're coming to tell you. Like, I'm sorry. I was a, you know, a, a twit or whatever they were Capricorn. All right. Not a Twix. No, not that. Okay. 
In the heart of the matter, we have justice and the queen of cups. So, you know, this is the overall energy justice. And <clears throat> these people are asking like for mercy, it looks like. It, it kind of does. Maybe they're just asking him for his wisdom, the judge. It's possible. Uh, mm -hmm, they look like they're on their knees though, don't they? Yeah. Uh, in this particular uh, deck here, their version. And now we have the Four of Pentacles. So somebody grew. There's wisdom here. And I feel like a decision was made with justice. Let's move the camera so you can see better, Capricorn. And I'm going to move it ever so gently here because... I don't want to merge these videos when they they break off, right? Yeah, they do. Let me put this a little bit closer here. Okay, perfect. All right. So here, uh, the Four of Pentacles, too, showing up with it. This is, you know, a version of the Death card, Capricorn. It is uh, because this Four of Pentacles has the skeleton uh, wielding the scythe. Right. And, you know, he said, give me those pentacles or, you know, or it's doomsday for you. I don't think he's really saying that. <clears throat> I feel like he's saying uh, there's an ending here with this, you know, with the skeleton. And something is no longer being held on to here. Yeah. We can see it as something will be held on, held on to. Right. Because this is a four. Fours are about stability. But. This could be that somebody's, you know, ending something else, Capricorn, to be with you. It could be. Uh, but there is definitely is a decision being made because we have justice and then we have two twos. And those are uh, choices, twos, or about two people. Definitely somebody made a choice in this reading, for sure. And what's helping you here, Capricorn, is the two of cups. And, you know, they're, they're, you know, hugging ever so tightly. This might've been in Sagittarius's reading, but here they are like, we're back together, honey. Either that or, you know, uh, she got beat up on her, you know, she was getting beat up by some thuggies and, and then he's like, you're protected now. You're okay, honey. Right. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, <clears throat> I feel like they have just met here and he offered her the cup and she took it right, uh, in the middle of nowhere, basically. Okay. So the wheel of fortune is with it and that's helping you. This is like divine wisdom here. Yeah. Sagittarius's wheel of fortune can be about wisdom, right? And we know because we see these animals and the angel, they're all reading, right? Yeah. You either get wisdom, uh, usually just get it from life experience things, right? Things that happen and, you know, things that you do and you learn from it and things like that experiences. Uh, but you can gain some wisdom from reading a book as long as you apply it. Yeah. There's no, there's no such thing as wisdom that you heard about something and like you never try it. You never apply it to your life. That's not wisdom. That's uh, some knowledge that you may have that you yet, you have yet to use or test. Right? Yeah. This is why 17 year olds, uh, typically, uh, you'd have to be like, it's just not in your nature. It's not in a 17 year old's nature to be wise. They can be intelligent. They can be more emotionally, uh, you know, intelligent than other 17 year olds, but only age and experience. We'll say experience, right? The person who has experienced so much uh, by a certain age, they know a lot more. They do, right? Of course. And that just goes without saying. And so <clears throat> a decision's been made. You're going to hold on to somebody here, Capricorn, somebody who really loves you. This person decided about you. Maybe they're a Sag. Uh, that wheel of fortune, I feel like, is divine timing in this reading. I feel like it is. Mm -hmm. Because we have an adventure waiting to happen, the summer dragon. And I don't think this has to do with summer, at least not in the northern hemisphere, Okay. Because we're in winter. Yeah, we are. All right. Which I don't like. Kind of. Skin looks more pale. Uh, more dry. You know, things like that. That's that's winter, right? Yeah, but hey. <clears throat> there's a beauty to winter, though. There's a, there's a cleanliness, right? With the rain and things. Two of swords. And we have the six and replenishing. Things dying and regenerating, right? 
And so here we have Capricorn coming right down here. <clears throat> we have the two of swords with the six of swords. Now, this is somebody who is saying, I need to move on here. I need to get to a better place here. And possibly with wisdom, these are swords. So these are about thoughts and your intellect and things like that. The two and the six. And that's what somebody here has learned. It looks like the hard way. And it looks like they could have been spoiled, the brat. Spoiled and, you know, and I'm all that. And, you know, that can be somebody who's spoiled. and um, Right? Mm -hmm. But whoever's coming here is devoted to you. Two of Cups, devotion. The fire element is passion. And they're thinking this is an adventure. And that's, <clears throat> I feel like that's this person down here, whether or not that's you or them. The High Priestess Capricorn and the, the King of Pentacles, that's you with your, you know, your giant pentacle and your bull. Don't have steak tonight, Capricorn, all right? No, not after I saw that bull there. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we have the High Priestess. Now, this sits in the past. This is all-knowing. This is somebody who figured it out here. The guides and the truth reversed. And they figured it out with some type of tower or something. Something, something kind of harsh. I feel like they did. So let's look at the nine of pentacles. And it could be they had to take a look, good look at themselves too. Like what a jerk I was. It could be that simple. Uh, you know, nine of pentacles, king of cups. He's pouring the cup out. Look at this. This looks like somebody's gaining their independence, nine of pentacles, and pouring this cup out. Somebody learned here that they were probably arrogant. Yeah. Right? Most likely here, the moon. The moon sits in your advice, Capricorn. Let's get a card on your advice, knight of swords, where he cuts the man right here. Whoever this is coming, Capricorn, for your person, if this is your advice about them, they are like letting something go here. It has to do with this four of pentacles and the skeleton with the scythe. I'm ending this. You're not, I'm, you're not going to be able to hold on to that anymore. It could be that. This is a two-way card, but definitely it talks about an ending and somebody either holding on or not holding on to a situation. This knight of swords is this man's falling to his death here because of the knight. This is in your advice. Uh, if this is this person, they're wondering if this is going to be kind of worth it, if they kind of cut something out. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Or they're, you know... I feel like in this right here too, this talks about trust your intuition, the moon with the knight of swords, where it is sitting. You may have doubts, Capricorn. If you're hip to all this, you could really be having doubts if this is going to happen for you. You could. And we have the star card. It sits in your environment. Okay. Now here she is kind of, you know bathing herself sort of three of pentacles is in your environment too this is a healing and working things out a collaboration and it is because of devotion there's nothing i don't i don't know if there's anything stronger than devotion when uh, you know a mother is devoted to their child uh in protecting him or he or she or somebody is devoted to a romantic partner or even devoted to taking care of an elderly person, right? It's a devotion. But in this reading here, this is in your environment. This is a healing and a collaboration because there's passion here and there is devotion. And there is somebody who grew up in this reading. Yeah, they did. Yeah, this person grew up the brat. Yeah, for sure. And your hopes and fears, Capricorn, Eight of Swords, this is a release showing up here with the Queen of Wands. So <clears throat> one of you guys is, I believe, releasing somebody here. And uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, maybe releasing a marriage, possibly. Here's Justice and the Ten of Pentacles. Because uh, that can be a family. It can be Eight of Pentacles now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this Eight of Pentacles is about devotion in this reading. 
This is in your hopes and fears. And eights are about our power numbers. And you have two eights here. You may be hoping here or afraid this will not happen. Uh, but this definitely looks like it is here. And here's the transition that your person is making. Six of Swords. Temperance Sagittarius uh, Capricorn, I beg your pardon, is showing up here with her roller job, right? She has her dove uh, for hope, I believe, and faith, yeah. And she's pouring the other cup out, right? There used to be rum in it, but she said, oh, God, I don't want to keep drinking this, right? Just kidding, because <laughs> temperance talks about, like, self-control, right? And uh, getting rid of addictions, it can. And the five of cups, mm-hmm. Whoever is coming in this reading, the brat realizing what a jerk they were, that person is grieving and maybe an ending because of the four of pentacles here with the skeleton and the scythe in the heart of the matter. And this king who is pouring somebody's cup out here, the king of cups is pouring this out and it's showing up with the nine of pentacles, a card of being single or independence self-sufficiency and independence so we're going to end this reading capricorn and whoever this brat is okay I, I have a bone to pick with you no of course i don't right look at look at the, the big fairy she's going oh what a jerk and the little brat <coughs> the little fairy has the sign there yeah i'm a brat what about it <laughs> we're going to end this reading thank you so much you guys for joining me here get yourself a psychic reading we have lots of fun uh find out about somebody or yourself, right? And uh, yeah, lots of fun readings on my website. Get your chart analyzed for the new year. Yeah, and uh, those are eye-opening and fascinating. This is your life map, right? Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.